Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Belfar, and today we're back in Horizon Forbidden West, and I'm going to actually continue fighting in the arena. Yeah, because boost battle. Oh, it spikes now in roller back. Okay. And I'm not sure about this one. Open loadout. 150 to enter. Dear Lord. Okay. So, three spike snouts. Which are weak to fire. And then a roller back, which is weak to acid. Well, good thing I now have fire arrows. Acid is on you. Okay, so I'm thinking... That did not do nearly as much as... Ow. Oh my lord. I'm actually really hurt. What in the world is going on? Oh boy. Well, that should be two down. You're going to take a little bit longer to knock out. Uh, that should be... And there we go. Nice. That went pretty well. <laughs> that actually went extraordinarily well. Okay. Tinneck Crymore Firefox. A slither fang. Oh, really? Just a solo slither fang? Okay. I, of course, need to check what is... Bolt blasters are powerful weapons. Oh, that can quickly fire a burst of projectiles. Hold left click to charge a burst. For a more concentrated burst. Stagger beams are now available for one of your trip casters. This special ammo generates a 
Moving energy beam between two points that can stagger or knock down enemies that cross cross it. The beam can also damage enemies that linger in it. If I'm not mistaken. Piercing ammo is now available for one of your weapons. This type of ammo deals more damage to parts protected by armor, but less effective at removing armor. That makes sense. Sir, so you're... You're weak to plasma. Ooh, boy. Ow. Oh no, that's purge water also. Are you kidding me? Ooh, yep, that was bad. That's going to be painful when you actually detonate. Complete one arena, arena challenge set. There we go. That was not easy. Two minutes, one second. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I don't think I'm even on the leaderboard, leaderboard but honestly... I don't have a problem with that. Intermediate. Oh, claw striders. Yay. Well, for the bow I want, I need 50, I believe. Ew. I have one minute. Where are you weak to? You're new. Pla You're extra weak to plasma. How about you? Purge water. Oh, really? Ow. Do you mind? That hurt. I will actually go loot your friend real quick. And there we go. Simple as that. Oh man, this is actually exciting. Cage 
Graham horns? Excuse me, what? Oh boy. Wait, we fought a Graham horn once. Please tell me I'm wrong. Acid and purge water. I don't have acid. Actually, wait. What am I talking about? I do have acid. Alright, I'll focus on one first. Boy. Ow. Honestly, this this spear is amazing. Like, I, I slightly prefer this over any of these Shredder disc launchers. That's concerning. At least, I think that's concerning. Acid canister bur burrower? Wide maws? Purge water? I'm seeing a whole bunch of machines I've never encountered. And I'm honestly excited. I don't know if I should be, but I'm honestly more excited more than anything. Because these are just machines I've never encountered. Let me correct that statement. Variants of machines I've never encountered. Like that's a purge water. That one is an acid. But then... Wide mauls are wide maw. Oh man. Well, it looks like good old explosive will be what I use against the wide mauls. You're a little bit tough. Ow. Ouch. Really? Ow. Okay, so maybe the strategy is not to go after the, um... Have fun with that. Fertilizer. <coughs> Not what I want. I missed that. That's gonna hurt. I will say the drop on these is insane, though. And there we go. That's the only downside I, I see with them. They just have extreme drops, so they're really good in very close quarters, at least from what I've experienced. A Tide Ripper and two Snap Maws. Oh boy. Hang on a second. 
Don't I need a Tide Maul? Oh, what is that? Well, that clearly has to be the Tide Ripper. Oh, Lord. It is so much. Adhesive buildup is now available in your inventory. Hit fast moving enemies with adhesive to build up to the slowed state. Once in the state, enemy movement is slowed, making them easier to target and track. Oh, great. A warrior bow. More plasma bolts. So this thing is very resistant to fire, but actually weak to ice. Actually very weak to... Oh, Shredder Disc, my beloved. Or more accurately, Acid Shredder Disc, my beloved. I am quite literally stuck under a pile of machines. There we go. If I could just not miss, that would be great. That is why they're so nice. Because they can deal that much damage if you land right. Also, that's another bonus of them. Okay, that was probably a very bad idea. I would honestly argue this might be the best way to get machine components that you don't know where they are yet. Oh, and it gave me different different armor. Good to know. Well, I need that need a, its tail. So I will be, I'm going to challenge it once more. Uh, 
I didn't even realize I had those. I don't know if I like this variant. Let me let me out of the corner. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 I understand. I'm brittle. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> and there we go. I got the tail I needed. Okay, I give me one moment. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm that back. Fighting out there, uh, real quick. And what can I do for you, Aloy? Medals. No, 80 of them? No! <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. I was actually excited about it. Wait, 80 medals. Does that mean I need to win all of them? If that means I need to win all of them, then... Oh. I could... Hmm. Okay. I'm getting distracted. Well, Farewell. I guess I should go. For now. Travels. I need the workbench, which is up over here. Give me a give me a moment. Because there should be what? Well, my I got a tie dripper tail fin though. Okay, I I I guess I just didn't. Sure. Fine. Sure. Why not? 
I'm not upset at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. Eh. And I already have one that does plasma. So thanks, but I'm honestly good. I am. Believe me. Two Ravagers and a Grimhorn. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. And, yep, Ravagers are the ones with... Oh, they're weak to acid. Okay. Hmm. Wait, doesn't that make all three? All three are. That one hurt me. Bassett's gonna take you out. At least I hope. Oh yeah, most likely. Ooh, I am already really, really hurt. Thankfully, I have learned how to take you out. Yeah, the Grimhorns, I s expected them to be, you know, grim. They aren't as grim as I first thought. Bring to Scorchers! We haven't run into Scorchers yet. I am actually slightly intimidated now. Uh, frost and electricity, huh? But let me guess. Resistant to fire. Very resistant to fire. But it said nothing about acid. I already don't like the way that... Okay, that really does hurt. I am surprised I dodged that. That's gonna hurt. Please. That prop that did not take it out. That's gonna hurt. That hurt me. I will say, it's not it is nice not being under leveled for once. It is so nice not being under leveled for once. 
And guess who has enough? Guess who has enough for the bow now? Ah, Aloy. Well. <laughs> oh boy, this is exciting. Because that's Earn more medals and the rewards will be great. Thank you. I need to get going. Of course. Good luck. Targeting arrows are now available for one of your hunter bows. These special arrows can designate a target for overridden machines to attack for a limited time. Nine. S okay, hang on. I have nine skill points, apparently. An infiltrator is also lacking. And there go all my skill points. The arena is where soldiers are made. Care to give it a try? Advanced? Oh my lord. Okay, let me just first... Inventory. Three! Oh, that's going to be nice. Increase impact damage. That barely does anything. Knockdown, I don't do. Shock would be nice, though. Okay. Now, this is where sometimes high-tier equipment falls apart. Leveling it up. Mmm. <coughs> Tide Ripper, Slither Fang. I see now. Oh. Thunderjaw. Okay. Tremor Tusk. Apex Tremor Tusk. Apex Fire Claw. Apex Slaughter Spine. Slaughter Spine. Oh, but that is 320 electrical buildup. That is... The most expensive thing I've probably ever seen, but also that's gonna be so worth it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want, and I don't really want. All right, sure, this bow. Um, this bow is going to be insane. Show us what you got, champion. I plan to. F oh, Bellabax, a sh ooh, mmm, a shell snapper. That one's going to be tricky. Well, first things first. Acid bellow back. Fire bellow back. Where? Oh, dear. I have no idea where this thing is. Alright, might as well. Of course. That's probably gonna... Yep. Oh, that dropped way lower than I thought it would. There we go. That one didn't. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Ow. There we go. Oh wait. I already knocked the part of its shell off? When? Probably when I was using it. Using the spear. This thing is nasty. Let me pick this up. did not think I was going to be that. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Oh, boy. I... Mm, okay. Let me try again. So, okay. Fire Bellaback, Wick to Frost, Acid Bellaback, Wick to Purge War. Got it. Could be real bad. I'm pretty sure I did dodge that. Okay, yep, that actually seriously hurt. I'm guessing you're resistant to plasma buildup. I need, realistically, I just need, oh, really? It's weak to fire?
But I think I think I see the method of defeating this thing now. Yep, I see the method now. Okay, I'm going I will attempt this once more. Man, that's expensive though to constantly retry. That definitely hurt you. I got stuck underneath of it. That should hurt it. Really, did, did that do nothing? Where is it? Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to turn off, off my camera to try it once more, and I'll see how well I do then. I'll be back in just a moment. All right. So, as it turns out, as you can see, for whatever reason, I do much better off camera. Oh, boy. I think this will be the last one in terms of just pure fight or pure arena fights. Because this one, I can already tell, will not be easy. Rope casters are ideal for tying down machines. We already know what rope casters do. Shield wires can be fired from certain trip casters to generate an energy shield between two points. The shield will block all projectiles or explosions, but cannot stop physical attacks. If the shield absorbs too much damage, either from you or your enemies, it will explode. Great. So let's see what your weak... Frost.
You're weak to plasma, so... There we go. That's pretty much a full plasma charge. Ow. Do you mind? That does hurt. Oh my lord. Oh dear. Do you mind? This is not good. That's going to hurt. I could not thread the needle there. And I just missed that one. There we go. Oh man. 24. X. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. I did not see these. Like I said, I, a dull moment when you're in the arena, champion. I I think I'm good for now. Good to see you, Aloy. Forty four. Oh man, I was kind of hoping to actually buy this. Come back when you want to look at some real gear. Yeah, I I plan to. Okay, I have to go. Understood. Walk with the ten. Oh my lord. I don't know why, but that... The arena is so much fun! Like, don't make it... Don't 
get me wrong, the base game, yes, is fun. But I didn't realize the arena was a thing until very recently. And well, to say the least, it's been a blast ever since I found it. Oh good, I can fast travel to the base. Okay. Yep, that's why I like Shredder Gauntlet so much. All right. More gossip, huh? I, I I should probably catch up on some side quests. You, if you're ever in need of a quick refuge, there's an ancient tunnel north of here that machines tend to avoid. Oh. I scouted it many times trying to find a way further in, but the way is blocked. Whatever the tin had in there, they kept it locked away. Thanks for letting me know. Dry yearn. Oh, more ruins. Um, the bulwark. The hive. Iota cauldron. Dry yearn. Black boxes and relics from ruins. Hmm. I don't like that I don't have the map unexplored, but I have a feeling this tall neck might be the culprit of that, considering this one is locked. So, what I'll do... is head inside. Uh, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Errand, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the ruins. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, <coughs> while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So, from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> J 
just the nod of understanding. What is this? We've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Thank you. Oh my. Thank you all. Wow, looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I've thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. You've spoken with Katala? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. Did Gaia tell you anything about Venus? She did, though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here, it is humbling, to say the least, and heartbreaking that such life should be bent on destroying ours. Oh. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. Oh, interesting. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. Mm. That couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zell. Oh, no. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my 
disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. Whoa. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night. Then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... Not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly return at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. You've settled in, uh, guy, so we could nurture them like the land gods do. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much. Oh, whoops! Metal. I see you've settled in. Let me guy, restart I did that. Say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do plain songs fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. I see. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but Reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Okay. Right. I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Let's go over. Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. Yeah, it is. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're going to stay a while. I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, pick up with the subfunctions, defeat Far Zenith, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. No. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Mm. Feels like so long ago now. When Varl found me after the Hades Proving Lab. I thought I saw Rost. With his understand. 
any of this. Not what I have to do. But still. Wish he was here. Oh, that is upsetting. This is the rite of passage that Vishal gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Rugalo's attack at the embassy. The marshals ambushed and surrounded, killed one by one. Reminds me of the massacre at the Proving. Back in the sacred lands. So many lives wasted. And for what? Mmm. Someone isn't happy. Not in the slightest. Now just two more people to talk to. Varl. This place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. For a second I thought I was talking to my mother. <coughs> never thought a Tanakh and a Nora war chief could have so much in common. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. Hmm. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Oh, that's good. How's, uh, training itself? You know we really are training. Mostly. <laughs> Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Yeah? Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. <laughs> we'll be fine. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh... Oh, well, you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. Fair. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. 
I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. I see Vol gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunday. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I have to go. I guess it's back to reading. Oh. <laughs> He's not very much a bookworm by the sounds of it. So that's my room. This must be the serve. Gaia, what's this room? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted, when oh, whoops! Hang on. I mean. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm surprised you're in here. This room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Hello. Hello. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything. But all I really need to know is where to train, and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? <coughs> Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in the clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. Oh. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command. Even if I wanted to, after our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. 
even though he knew perfectly well I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. Oh. When we were at the bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the cool rate. Deca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. Okay. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? We spilt rebel blood at the grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Three times before. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Oh! I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Well, I was actually going to go <laughs> check to see if I can make anything. Of course. Oh, man, that's annoying. All right. Last oh, thing. Aloy, your Karja friend came through. She went to that Oseram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Why do you all have new exclamation points? Hey. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. Oh. I better go. Right. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Uh, thank you. You know, you don't have to check up on me this often. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long. You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. I should head out. You better get back to training. We will. Because that's all we're doing. The teasing. All right, one last one until we deliver Aether to Gaia. Did you forget something? Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes, the Karja Huntress. 
I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. Um. Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. I should go. May the fields bloom aplenty. All right. Next up, conversation with Gaia. Oh boy. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. All right. Well, it looks like I have to insert ether a a either way. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. But... Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Aluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so either Aluthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there, or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. 
I'll be careful and we're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit in case you need to upgrade your gear. Hang on, I wasn't done talking to Gaia. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? A lot. Oh, wow. How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. Though he has not voiced his thoughts, I may be able to assist in his recovery, should he be interested. Really? I'm sure he will be. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Ooh. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. Amazing. Oh, whoa, what more? Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, Gaia. So, Project Zero Dawn. The greatest minds in the world. All working to build the terraforming system while the Feral Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations. At all hours of the day. Wow. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, 
The facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. Of course. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. I will be right back. Sorry about that, I'm back. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Oh! Zion. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project. And it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the feral plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. Mm -hmm. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. Mm. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, <laughs> The U.S. military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. Mm. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region, yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. I think that's everything. I guess I should get going. As you say, be well. All right. The cool route. Oh. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. What room? I want to see. This one? Nope. Oh, looks like I can open that door now. Which door? This door? No. This one then. Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> it always seemed to. Ex I'm genuinely excited about some form of entertainment. Oh. So that's where this leads. Whoa. 
What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Well, it's getting some use. Looks like Erend and Katala moved their stuff in. Oh, good. All right. There she is. You ready to head out? Yeah. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. <gasps> he actually opened one of the doors with minimal effort. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Her hands have to be freezing. That's plasma. What was that weapon she was Bro, using? See if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Verbena? The snowfall is blanketing the land. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Oh man. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Destroyed a ravager. A spectre. The spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Hmm. Room with a focus. Oh, looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah, ah, that weapon's still hot. I still, need to know how it worked, but I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Huh. Oh? Oh, what's a what's this? Oh. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? 
Hmm. All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errand. What a mess. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Val. Okay, Varl, what did you find? Oh, Lord. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. It looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. Whoa. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Uh, first things first, I'm getting uh, new skills. There. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. A transmitter? Oh, I do not like that. Oh, it's burnt out by the looks of it. Like this before. Looks like it's self destructed. Wonderful. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Great. But then why were the zeniths still so, searching for exploring the exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Yeah. Or anything you can blow up. Yet. There we go. Get this from my stash when I need it. I guess we'll continue going this way. Holy data points. Find anything that might all this stuff. Wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Farzeneth, 
Probably discovering amazing things. For mm. benefit. Okay. Yeah. That sounds about right. This place is huge. Whoa. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. I'm gonna. So, um, how is Aaron taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus. It's a lot. A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress Oh. Oh. Right. Nothing. I should check the log. I think it was 257, right? 236 containers in storage. Error. Container limit exceeded. Okay. Yeah, I guess I have to. Notebook, data points. Two thirty seven. Two hundred and thirty. That must be... Oh, my lord. Aloy. It's you. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Spit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aruthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. What? But at least I don't have the Gaia kernel to merge them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. They have Apollo? Oh, she's... she's still alive. We need to get her back to... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. Mm. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Oh boy. Okay. 
I don't have any machines. Here it comes. Oh, fun. Ooh, ugly one, are you? Oh, plasma. Oh, thank. Things quick. It is so fast. Nothing to call below. Highly explosive but spears can't fix. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. That is so weird and so cool. Man, I love those the design of those things. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. You and me both. Aloy. Ah. Aaron. Yeah, the specter's dug its heels in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. You better not have gotten yourself shot. That doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. Mmm. Oh. I'm here. Ow. That thing shoots down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. And the second you need me. Okay. Shields down. It's on the move. Need. Ow. I'm just waiting for that plasma, a little bit of plasma damage to that. Oh, you're still up. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I can figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. Oh, that would be nice. Central thing, though. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, 
Yes. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their Wait, descendants. What? It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. Oh, so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Oh, man. That is... A new plot point. Oh, man. Yep. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but... The only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. <laughs> So 
So we're dealing with the same Farzinif people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned Azina set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. Hmm. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run. I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. Then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the Rebels killed, outside the facility. Verbena's dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Eleuthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. Hmm. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrow purged it, the Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. Oh, man. All right. I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so how long? You know, your, your, your plan. 
How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So she get the weapon fragment to go. Oh. Yep, I barely remember all of this. Probably because I skipped through all the story points. I just think you talk. Yeah, I, I barely remember any of this. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Oh, wow. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly. This was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. Amazing. But he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silen's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. All right. So, my plan is to stop the main story quest line for now and to just simply, oh, you know, take care of the three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one ish other quests I have. 
But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that amazing stuff. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye, guys.